Talita here. Welcome to the Hunt for Happiness show with me. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's staying safe because the pandemic has been affecting a lot of our lives and required us to stay at home. But that doesn't mean that we can't search for happiness because like me, I've been missing my favorite foods and my favorite restaurants. So today we are going to learn how to cook a dish that I've never made before and I'm afraid I mess up. But we've got a friend that's gonna guide me through this, so let's go! Hi Talita! Hi Michelle, how are you? How have you been? Good, good. I've uh, been very busy actually. Uh, while everyone's in lockdown, FMB is still kind of running, the machine is still running. Uh, very grateful that we're still able to at least run delivery and take away. And how about you? Me, I've been, I've been pretty good, you know, just figuring out how to cook things at home and failing at it. <laughs> so you're supposed <laughs> to like, teach me today, right? You're gonna teach me how to cook, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna turn you pro. I'm gonna turn you pro, hopefully. Pro, huh? Okay guys, watch till the end to see how you can win exclusive prizes from Bajaya Sompo Insurance. Michelle, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, Michelle, so what are we making today? So we're doing actually a chicken, shiitake and cabbage dumpling. And then we cook it in miso soup. You got all the, the ingredients that we've sent you? I think I do. Let's, let's just go through it so that we don't miss out anything, just in case. Okay, uh, Chinese cabbage, radish, red onions, some shiitake, chives, goji berry, dumpling skin, kombu, miso paste, Japanese chilli oil, soy sauce, salt, sugar, corn flour on the side. Chicken breast and chicken skin. Okay, first thing first, just put about 500 ml of water okay. into your pot. And then kind of put it on a boil. So do it on low heat. Lah. We just want a slow simmer, like not over boil it. Alright, and then add about one tablespoon of the miso paste. Get your radish. Okay, so cut it in half. And then just slice it very, very thinly. Good time to put your radish in now. So that was half of the half just now, right? Oh wait, you mean you halved your half? Yeah, well, like that. Like this one, my half. How much do you put? Oh, I put more than that. Okay, then we can add the, the goji berry. Oh, okay, <laughs> you just went for it. Let's start with the cabbage. Do I wash this? Uh, uh, what do you think? <laughs> so what you want to do is really cut it finely. 500 grams. 50, 50. Oh, right, 50. Oops. Listen, listen. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Chop, 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 chop. Okay, the next thing we're going to cut is the red onion. Some shiitake. Okay, now we do the proteins. Ah. Basically, you just want to mince the, the chicken breast and the chicken skin. So, just cut it in chunks and after that, proceed with mincing it. Your cleaver is just everywhere. <laughs> so dangerous. How do you cut this? Okay, this is where you go like that. I've never done this before. This is so satisfying. Okay, the uh, minced chicken is done. So now we do the, the chicken skin. Um, chicken skin, we need half. Huh? I thought we were done. Why do we need chicken skin? <laughs> the reason why I add chicken skin is to create a bit of texture and also some fattiness to it. Like others, if you use just mince, it can be a bit dry. So the skin helps to add a bit of that texture and fat. Yeah, I know it's a bit gross, but it's a very important element in the dumpling. So I'm, I cut it to about like small chunks like that. Then after that, I'm gonna go ahead with the mincing again. Wow, I really cannot cut man, this thing. Yeah, you want to break it down a bit lah. You need a bit of pressure. Okay, but I sliced it ish already. What do I do now? Okay, then now we chop. Same thing. So now we're gonna combine all the ingredients. I like it to be a bit more precise with the dumplings so that it's consistent like your dumpling taste. Because you never know, right? You can only taste it after you wrap it, cook it. Okay, 200 grams of the minced chicken. It's 300 grams, okay? <laughs> uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> okay, after 200 grams of chicken. 100 grams of the skin. 100 grams of skin. 50 grams of each of the vegetables. So mushroom 50, onion 50, cabbage 50. I definitely got more than 50 for cabbage. <laughs> okay, mushrooms. Sure. Hey, do you measure? Yeah, yeah, measure it. Okay, and onions, I have... Okay, I think with the onion, go easy. You don't want it to be overly pungent because it's a strong aromat, right? 
Okay, so now we've already combined all the ingredients. This is when we do our seasoning and then mix it all up. So we want to start with uh, two tablespoons of the Japanese soy sauce, brown sugar, four teaspoons, and then um, about one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so you want to mix this um, evenly. Okay, ready to wrap? <laughs> okay. okay. So, um, spoon about a teaspoon and a half in each dumpling. Use your ring finger and just rim the sides. And then after that, you fold into half like a boon shape. Huh? Okay, so this was the half just now, right? So you use the cornstarch to secure the last bit as well. Ta-da! Yay! Pretty without effort. Okay. So this is where I would like do like the final tasting of the soup as well. If it's to your preference, if you want more miso taste or whatever. Now we're gonna cook it. The dumpling? Okay. Your soup's ready? Do we just dump it in? We do. So now it's just like hot pot like you know, you put your dumplings in. Yeah, make sure it's uh, boiling before you, you put in your dumplings. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think my dumplings is looking ready. How's yours? I think they look ready. So, it's time to serve. We got the kombu. Chop this and your chives as well. Japanese chili oil. We are done. We're done? We're done! Oh my gosh! Mmm. It's really good. I'm not sharing this with anybody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for teaching me and for being so patient throughout. I am... You're welcome. It was fun. It was really fun. I, and I'm so happy that your product is like 99.9% .9 similar to mine. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers, thank cheers, you cheers. Thank so much. Bye. Cheers. Bye, Bye you. I learned so much today. I mean, if Michelle says I'm a pro, then I guess I'm a pro. Anyway, if you want to join the Hunt for Happiness contest, you can join in the link below. And all you need to do is share a photo or a video of yourself with a simple caption of what you learned at home that brought you happiness. And you could stand a chance of winning prizes worth up to 150 ringgit from Bajaya Sompoy Insurance. Terms and conditions apply. Thanks for watching.